Hello everyone, this is Mike and you are watching Really. Please subscribe to our channel before we continue. Moving on, it is at least the third ceasefire to be announced since violence erupted this month, but none have held. Mr. Blinken says the agreement with the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces came after 48 hours of negotiations. At least 400 people are known to have died since the fighting broke out. Since the violence erupted a little over a week ago, residents in the other capital, Khartoum, have been told to stay inside and food and water supplies have been running low. The bombing has hit a key infrastructure like water pipes, meaning that some people have been forced to drink from the river Nile. There will be hopes that the ceasefire will allow civilians to leave the city. Foreign governments will also hope it will also help for evacuations out of the country.